like the field trip we had yesterday? The whole project has been roundly successful. Miss, last year we used to call round shapes in another way. I think we used to call them circles. Didn't you use other words? Yes, circumference, which means the same. Michael, do you think circumference and circle have the same meaning? I think that circle is what's inside and circumference what's outside. We say circumference is the set of points which are equidistant from a center. We'll call circle to the set of points whose distance to the center is equal or less than the radius. That sounds quite logical, but what's the meaning of equidistant? It means to be at the same distance. Equi is a Greek prefix which means equal. Remember that in a round fountain, there was a path in the middle for people to go through instead of having to surround the fountain. Yes, it was great. I stood right in the middle looking at both sides and everything was there at the same distance. Precisely, that distance between the center and any of the points on the edge is called radius. Now I remember. We call diameter to that entire path. Very well. That was very good. Let's have a look at the board. So, we can say there are a lot of diameters. And they all go through the center. So, what's the difference between the circle and the circumference? The circumference is the outside curved line and the circle is that line and all inside. Yay! Natalie, honey, I'm preparing the dough to make some small cookies. Could you help me cut it out to prepare the pastries? Yes, Dad. Where are the biscuit cutters? I'll get them for you. Hurry up, Dad, or I'll get the compass. Ah, uh, so you'll get the compass, huh? Well, let's see if you can handle this. I've got a baking tray 33 centimeters wide by 40 centimeters long, and I want to know the number of pastries I'll bake by tray. Well, let's see. I'll cut out a pastry, and I'll fold it by half, as I'll do when they've got the filling. Then, I'll measure the diameter of the circle it leaves. It's a diameter of 10 centimeters. This is to say that there will be three biscuits in the width of this baking tray, with enough space among them not to stick. Now, if the diameter is 10 centimeters, its radius will be half of it, which is 5 centimeters. That will be the space they'll have on the baking tray. Okay, so? Eight biscuits! Yes, sir! On the length of the tray, there fit eight rows, which multiplied by three on the width. You can bake 24 biscuits at the same time. Excellent, sweetheart. You've been of great help. Well, in a while, I'll also help you subtract biscuits. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!